Hello, it's Sarah, and tonight I have my book charms. What are they called? Bookmarks. I guess they're bookmarks. Um, ribbon bookmarks. Yeah. Um, years ago, I made book thongs. When I first started beading, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this in focus here. I keep putting it too close. Um, and you would just thread the beads onto this. It's like a waxed thread, I guess, and tie them up and these were bookmarks and I used to use them but nobody ever bought them from me when I did craft shows so <laughs> I've cut most of them apart now and use the beads for other things but this one's just one that I had I found it up in my nightstand but thank you so much Stormy I found the Blue Moon um, ribbon class metal ribbon class this is from Blue Moon and these were at my Joann's I got two different pack I got another pack of these that I've used up this pack and then there was another pack also that was only one of those or I would have gotten more but it had three different sizes so I'll show you what I've come up with um, the one thing I wasn't sure about was how big to make them and I have okay so I'm gonna adjust here this book is one of my favorite books this is fortunes rocks by Anita Shreve and it's eight inches this book from top to bottom so I thought 10 inch, and I think this is a pretty big book too. Mo a lot of um, books you can get even smaller. They're probably six inches. So I thought 10 inches was a fair size. Um, and you can put your bookmark in and a little bit dangles out the bottom and then you, ha you can flip it over and it hangs at the top. So this one's mine. I love it so much. Um, so I did make some 12 inches, and the one I made for Maya, I did 12 inches because she reads Dr. Seuss books. So her books are a little bigger um, a lot of times. So I wasn't too sure. I think I'm going to stick with 10. Um, we'll see. So let me just show you what I've done. These two are made from the same lace, and this is more of a like crocheted lace. It feels like crocheted. And this is a roll, and I don't have it right here because my desk is a mess. Actually, is it there? I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. So perfect for making these because it's double si It looks the same on both sides. And um, this is the clasp. You just simply clip it over. You center it on there. Clip it closed and go to town. Now this one I just did very simply. I put um, an angel on one side with a heart hanging off of it and then I just did a pearl dangle with. Oh this was really cute. Remember those made with love locket hearts I showed you? Those little um, keys that I got in my haul. These were from oh my god I'm so brain dead you guys. It was in my haul video. I think Hobby Lobby and they fit perfect. I think they're like the perfect size for each other. Isn't that so cute? So that's one. And then this one, I kind of went a little crazy. You know, um, Bead Fairy 1 totally inspired me with her. They were doing a swap. And hers were lace bookmarks. And then she had at least three to five dangles on hers. And I ordered the tulip beads from because of that. I can't wait to get those and I'll play. But this one was really cute. I just did pinks and whites for this one. And I hope this is in focus. I'm going to push, I'll push it down and you can probably see just fine. And then this side, I have an, an no, I have an angel. Yeah, I have a pink, a clear angel with a pink heart. And then this one's my last bow. I don't remember where I got the bow, but <laughs> so that was pink and whites. And then this one, like I said, is mine. Now this lace I got at Joann's the other day and this was by the yard. And I also got black velvet by the yard. I got two yards of each, but again, I liked it because it was the same on both sides, flip back and forth and on the edges. And this is the wider one again. And I did this. Um, there's the little key and the heart and blues and whites. And then I did a skull charm on the other side, which I love. Put the cross at the bottom and did a little goth one. So I think that's the one I'm going to use. This is 10 inches and that fits in my, um, Fortune's Rock book. Just perfect. Now, here's the black um, velvet, I guess. Now, it's only on one side. It's like satin on the other and black velvet on the other. And then I put a purple and white, did a purple and white one bead on here. Just a nice big one with a cross. And then I did another skull on this side with wings. 
I love him and that's just on black velvet so kind of goth you know a little and then this one was with the smallest um, clasp and these are what they look like they're just open has a little hook there to put your bead dangle on and you just cl clamp it down over the and this is that Chinese braid so it's really only one-sided too um, you know, it has one side that's kind of raised and the other is flat. Oops, looks like there might be a little knot there. I might have to change it up. Um, and so I put a red and um, a pearl with red on this side and I did another. I love these. I have tons of these skulls, so that's why I'm trying to use them up on stuff. But this would work. I mean, this is kind of thin. It's much thinner, but see, look, there is. There's like a something's going on. I'll have to change it. There's like a knot or something in the um in the weave. So I have those. And then these are, I have this sitting around here somewhere. I just know it somewhere. My desk is such a mess. Oh my gosh, here we go. I have the pink one. This is the decorative trim, and I'm pretty sure this is from AC Moore. And it's, or it could be, I think this is Hobby Lobby too. Hobby Lobby, but AC Moore has some pretty cool trims now. Um, this is $2.00 decorative trim and it's again one-sided I have it in the cream but I just like the size of it because this fit the medium size clasp and I just put a green dragonfly on this end and then a green bead with a flower spacer and a dragonfly charm on that end so really simple you can keep them simple I just did one charm on some then this pink one, I made Maya a pink one very similar to this, and I love hers. Hers is so cute. But this is very similar with the pink and blues. Hers had an angel, and it had, like, the wish, dream, hope. I used those charms that I got that I showed in my, um, here are these, in my haul video. I, I used wish and dream on hers. I don't have very many good charms, so that's really why there's no charms on here, because I think that would add an, a lovely little touch. And then this with the pink and blues, but there's three on three dangles on this one. And then this is some pink velvet. And you get this in is it Michael's dollar bin? I think so. Where did I put it? Oh, this stuff right here. This was in this package. Yeah, Michael's trims. And I think it's in their dollar bin. But it just happened to be velvety, and so I just cut a piece of that because it fit, again, it fit that medium size one. And just put a big old pink and white bead on one end and a pink and white bead on the other. So just real simple. I'm going to keep these pretty simple. I don't know how much I'll sell them for, but I'm going to bring these to my craft show. And then the purple velvet, too. I get a purple because I did, had a pack of purple. So I did a purple dragonfly and a purple, like, I don't know if this is... Um, Jesse James, but um, another one of them. So that's pretty much it. Oh, now I have this big honker. I put a lot of beads on here. This one has a cross at the bottom. This has four dangles. So just a crystal cross, because I cut apart some other stuff that I had. Uh, I don't need to talk about that. But um, So this has four dangles on each end. I just kept it clear and white with this eyelet um, laced going down. And then this one has a, um, a pearl angel, a big old white bead, and some more pearl and white. So really cute. Um, I went to the thrift store today, so I can just say real quick, where are they? Right in here. These were, I told you I want to make some pin cushions. So I'm going to put my beads away. But this was a dollar, a dollar, and a dollar. And these seem very similar to what Tosh had, so I'm going to make pin cushions out of these and just put some um, trim, um, some lace around it. And these will be pin cushions, not stick pin cushions, just pin cushions. But I did get those, so I'm excited because I bought the other ones too, the votive holders, to do that. But these were actually m closer to what she had. So I'm a busy bee. I'm loving it. I'm still crocheting. I'm going to make some flowers. I'll have that share for you too because I'm going to add buttons to some. So um, I enjoy I'm enjoying it. Thanks again, Stormy, and thanks for watching.